folks. Will Brink here, BrinkZone.com. And the uh, topic I want to cover today is HMB. Uh, HMB is getting a lot of buzz. Uh, a lot of people are sending me emails about this new wondrous supplement HMB. And uh, first, HMB is not a new supplement. It's actually been around a long time. Uh, at least uh, mid-90s, maybe early 90s, I recall, uh, when it was introduced into the mainstream market. So it's not a new supplement. It's been around quite a while. And the reason it's getting a lot of um, resurgence or buzz is uh, a few recent studies. One in particular was actually uh, pretty impressive. So the problem with HMB, honestly, and I've, I've actually been pretty hard on HMB over the years, is it's been a very confusing supplement to track because the, the data, the studies have been all over the place and they've consistently been inconsistent. And now that we have enough data, uh, enough studies with HMB to finally sort of pinpoint what is going on and what it boils down to with HMB is it appears to be uh, effective uh, under specific conditions. And that's, that's fairly rare for a supplement because normally you have supplements that sort of, you know, either work or they don't. Uh, HMB uh, it falls into sort of a rare category of supplements that work under specific conditions, almost like certain nutrients are conditionally essential depending on the uh, metabolic status. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. So what is HMB? HMB is basically a downstream metabolite of uh, the amino acid L-leucine. And L-leucine, of course, is known to be a major anabolic driver uh, of the uh, mTOR pathway and other areas, which also is getting a great deal of research. So what about HMB being uh, effective in particular conditions? Uh, here's, here's the lowdown on HMB. Uh, early studies on HMB found it to be effective uh, in untrained individuals, and that's how it sort of became a supplement. And then a lot of people who used it really in the real world, quote unquote, found it didn't do jack, uh, and it kind of faded off. And then it seemed to make a resurgence showing benefits in older people uh, with muscle wasting, and so on and so on. And as the years have gone by, we now have what would be called a fairly sizable amount of data to realize that HMB, again, is effective under specific conditions. So what are those conditions and why did it work so well in this recent study? Well, HMB appears to really be effective in people with catabolic wasting diseases uh, and, uh, and in elderly people, which being old is not quote unquote a disease, but it is a cat can be a catabolic state uh, in certain diseases and in athletes that are overreaching or overtraining, which of course is a catabolic state. Now this particular study was a fairly elegant uh, look at a properly periodized program. Now what a periodized program is, is the program calls for training at certain intensities and volume for a certain amount of time, then upping the training intensity to a very high level, i.e. overreaching, overtraining, and then pulling back, deloading, and then repeating the cycle. That is a periodized routine, uh, of which there are quite a few, and they can be very effective when employed correctly. Now, the group getting the uh, HMB had considerably uh, improved response during the overreaching period and gained quite a bit more muscle than the placebo. And that's been a consistent finding with a couple other studies. And so what you find is if HMB is employed correctly uh, using a specific periodized routine, that is a routine that calls for uh, a period of overreaching, overtraining, it looks like an effective supplement. Um, and I realize that sounds um, maybe not confusing, but a little bit head scratching. But again, you have to understand uh, human physiology is complicated. It is not black and white, and there are shades of gray as to when something may work and something may not. Uh, the problem, of course, is that a lot of supplement retailers are and will be pushing HMB for everybody all the time, uh, claiming it's going to work, and will pretty much ignore the fact that it was out a long time ago and didn't do so well. Now. One of the problems that most people out there training, watching this, uh, probably train on a pretty standard linear program. That is, you go in and do pretty much the same thing, uh, more or less the same exercises. You try to add a little weight to it and get stronger. And that's just a basic linear program. Uh, and for those people, HMB is probably not going to do a thing for you. So if you're going to use HMB, uh, honestly, you probably should follow the uh, program that was used in the study. And I'll have to uh, put that up online at some point. Uh, an interesting uh, aspect of this study is actually the placebo group also made pretty sizable pro progress and these were in trained individuals. These were not untrained people and that's also fairly rare but it also shows the value of a properly periodized routine which can be they can be very difficult. So 
Uh, I'm sure there's other periodized routines that HMB may work for if they have a proper phase of overreaching and overtraining followed by a deloading period. But the fact is probably um, in, 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 in terms of the response uh, to this study, you're probably best off following this particular study's programming. So that's the deal on HMB. Um, Honestly, uh, for the price of the stuff, considering what else is out there for supplements we know work pretty much under all conditions, I'm still not really uh, putting HMB on the short list of things that I would say one should add to their supplement regimen. But, um, you know, if you want to, go ahead. But again, it's only going to work under uh, specific conditions, and that would be people following particular periodized routines. Uh, I would certainly recommend it for, for older individuals, along with other supplements, uh, certain catabolic wasting diseases, and that is basically the lowdown on HMB. So I also do cover HMB uh, in my uh, uh, Bodybuilding Revealed program and in my Sports Supplement Bible extensively. I don't have this latest study in there, but now you know the deal on that, and I hope this info helps. You will now know the factual info on HMB, and I'll see you all on the Brink Zone.